hello hello beautiful people i am so excited to be doing this video for you guys i'm going to be showing you what products i use to keep my curls moisturized and bouncy so stay tuned for the rest of the process so this is what my curls look like after being in a bun for actually i'm not gonna say how many days but my hair is really dry the curls are frizzy and all stuck together and it's just not looking nice at all so it's definitely time to refresh this situation going on on top of my head Now the first part of this that you guys don't see is washing my hair in the shower. I use Diva Curl No Poo and you just apply it to your scalp and massage it in. The rest runs down your hair. And I'm also gonna start to finger detangle. Now you don't want your hair completely dry, but just enough that it isn't dripping down your back. I'm gonna start sectioning my hair into four sections so that I can evenly apply my deep conditioner through all of my hair. For my deep conditioner, I'm going to be using Diva Curls Heaven and Hair, and just as the name suggests, this stuff is absolute heaven. I love it. It makes your hair so soft. So I'm just going to start by re-wetting my curls and taking some of the product and beginning to massage it into one of the sections. And then I'm going to start detangling my hair with the Denman brush, making sure to start at the ends of my hair. And right now it is really, really, really tangled, so the brush will rip your hair if you try to force a, a tangle out so for those harder spots just use your fingers to try and gently pull apart any knot that might be there and the more that you brush through the hair the product will start to kind of slip to the ends and I like to just squeeze it into my hands and redistribute it to the top Y'all see this? This is exactly what I was talking about. This is one of those areas that is extremely tangled and if you use a brush on it, it's just going to rip your hair. So I very, very gently use my fingers to pull apart the knot to make sure that my hair stays intact. Now that I have the deep conditioner all over my hair, I'm just gonna put a shower cap on to help keep the moisture in. Now it says to leave it on for 15 to 30 minutes, but I'm extra. So I usually leave it on for about an hour. After an hour, I get back in the shower and rinse my hair with cold water. It's really important to use cold water because it closes the hair follicle and helps keep the moisture in. Now that I've deep conditioned my hair, I'm gonna start off with the Organics Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil and just apply this all over my hair, making sure to focus especially on the ends because that's where my hair is the driest. Now 
next up, I'm going to be using Diva Curls Coconut Curl Styler Super Cream, which is absolutely amazeballs. You just need about one to two pumps per section. And then I'm going to follow it up with Shea Moisture's Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Conditioner, making sure that I get it all the way from the roots to the ends of my hair. And after I have all my conditioner in, I'm going to use my Denman brush to start detangling. Once again, make sure that you start from the ends of your hair and work your way up. And I just wanna show you guys how much easier it is to slide this brush through my hair now that I've deep conditioned and put conditioner in my hair. I can start all the way at the root and slide the brush to the end without it catching. So this is where I do the bulk of my detangling so that I can avoid ripping my hair and still get the tangles out. After I have all my conditioner in, I'm going to use Diva Curls Believe In. This is a curl styler that plumps up and moisturizes your curls. And you only need a very, very small bit. This stuff goes a long way, but it really does help to give my hair that extra volume that I want. Yes guys, it is time for the gel. I'm gonna be using Diva Curls Archangel and Bounce Curl and I mix equal parts half and half in my hand and start scrunching it into my hair. I really like mixing these two because they have very different properties. The Archangel gives a really strong hold without being crunchy and the Bounce Curl is really good for volume and shine. So I really encourage you to mess around with a few and find a mix that you like. This is what works for me. Yeah guys, so we're gonna pretend like I didn't just smack myself in the head with this diffuser. I'm going to put it on medium heat and low intensity. But to use the diffuser, I just place my curls gently into the head of it and put it all the way up to my scalp to let the hair dry without disturbing the curls too much. And I'm just gonna keep doing this until my hair is about 80% dry. Once my hair is about 80% dry, I like to go back in with the bounce curl and reapply it to my hair. This really helps reduce some of the frizz that I may have gotten during diffusing and adds a little bit more volume. After my hair is completely dry, I like to take a pick and tease my hair at the roots to lift it up and give my curls even more volume. But just be warned, this will not work if your roots are even a little bit damp. So make sure that your hair is completely dry. Yeah. 
And that is all for my curly hair routine, guys. As you can see, my hair is so much more moisturized and shiny. It has a lot of volume. The curls are really defined. So I really like this combination of products that I have going on right now. I really hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next, and I will see you guys on my next video.